Uh, took a couple hours today uh, off the fence line uh, for a friend of mine who came over to uh, install a generator power transfer switch on this main junction box uh, because this uh, is where our well pump uh, power comes from. The main house back there, we got this little one that we use for storage, but it still has uh, a power box for it. And uh, it is in there that the circuit breakers are and the power is applied for the well that services everything on the property. And so we took a couple hours to put this in today. It's pretty cool. So this is wired directly into the box. Um, so we've got the top row is the flow. So where power is coming from for the circuits. And then these circuits right here are the ones that we currently have wired for the well, for the outlet for the water softener and the filtration system. And then just one more for an outdoor uh, outlet that'll just let us plug stuff in if we need to. Uh, this setup here has three settings, line, off, and generator. So right now power's coming off the grid. It is set in a down position to line. So that is where it is receiving its power coming through to the box on the other side. In the event that power goes off, we'll set it to off, hook up the generator. Well, the generator, here's what's happening. I just leave the generator plugged in, uh, the cord plugged in, and then I'll plug it in over the generator. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but then when I get the generator running and everything's up and going, I'll come up here and I'll switch this to gen setting. And now the generator is powering the well and uh, the filtration system, and then that other outdoor outlet. <clears throat> so that power cord will go there, squeezes in right over there onto this little porch, which is where we keep the generator when it's running. And there it is. So when we lose power off the grid, we get the generator fired up, and then right here is the uh, 12240 outlet. We'll plug this in, boom, and it twists to lock in. And then that is the cord that goes out to the thing, and then I do the switch over to generator, and now I'm running the well off of generator power. And when the generator's not required, it goes inside the house and is locked up secure, and we just leave this cord here waiting for the generator when it's needed. Next step will be to get one on the main house. It's a little more involved. There's some more that we got to do for that. Uh, and we don't, we don't want to do it all in one day. So, uh, but I'll get to that. I'll get to one on the main house too, but uh, eh, it's good. I feel more comfortable knowing that I have a backup so I can have water in the event the power goes out uh, in a storm. <music> Got the posts measured, marked, and all laid down uh, in front of the flags, which are 12 foot intervals. And uh, so the next step is just to start putting these things in the ground. I've run out of time on the day though, so I'm gonna have to pick this up in the morning. It happens. <laughs> posts all the way down it's 
good. This is the east fence line, so all of these T posts are in. I still have to do the buddy post on this end, and I think a main post at the other end, because there's a pre-existing post in the ground. It feels pretty solid, so I don't want to mess with it. I was going to use it as a corner post, but I think I can go another six feet beyond to get a better line uh, going up the uh, north part of the cut over there. Yeah, so I'm going to work on that. I'm going to have to stop here. It's uh, it's brutal hot. I know everybody in the country is getting it, and so this is not this is not a new phenomenon for here. It's just, you know, I get out here and hammering away with that thing. It's uh, it would be a little bit, you know, difficult over time, shoulders and everything. But uh, it is, you know, it's the evening here currently. Uh, it's nine, it's still 95 degrees and 104 with the heat index. So that's uh, that's a good time. Fortunately for me, though, it hasn't kept the mosquitoes away, so they're still good. Of course, I smell like I'm on a camping trip now. I'm covered in off, you know, so got that going for me, which is nice. So, yeah, you know, I did a round earlier. It just started to overwhelm me. Had to take a stop, come back out, continue down the line. Um, it's not that many T-posts. It's probably 40. Uh, it just takes a little while, and uh, I only probably hit on maybe five of them hit roots or hit something else underground and had to keep going until I found a different place uh, that I could uh, install them without too much resistance. But now I'm gonna pick up the little flags that I have down here to mark these spots and I'm gonna call it and uh, get back to it. Uh, but it's, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I recovered mostly, I think, from being sick it's still, I still get tired pretty quick, but, uh, you know, whatever. Power through and uh, just drink lots of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And then uh, come back here and I think do the corner post here or the, the, the corner post and the buddy post here and then start working down the cutoff from this side. And I think that'll, that'll set me in good stead to accelerate a little bit as I work my way all the way across the cutoff to the west property line and then through those woods. We'll see. I'm going to call it good. We're going to stop it there and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.